these are the four pillars of wisdom. The art of leadership, the laws of success in life and in business, the life you live, that is the nurture and care of your soul, and the legacy you leave. These four pillars are the foundation upon which to build a successful life, career, and a profitable business. By the time I was 39 years of age, I had accomplished most of the things I set out to do. I had written my book. I was pastor of a church that was one of the fastest growing in the state of Kentucky. And I was the envy of all my peers. I told myself that every day. Coaching and training executives and professionals in the art of leadership is not some esoteric enterprise that applies only to CEOs and managers or business owners and Fortune 500 companies. Everyone is a leader because leadership is simply influence and we all influence someone. The most effective leaders are those who create a climate. And by the way, I'd say that the most effective parents too are those who create an environment of openness approachableness, where employees are valued and encouraged to express themselves, their opinions, their ideas, an environment where they're free to ask questions. Now my own parents created this kind of environment for me as a child. My mother used to take me everywhere. One day we'd come back from grocery shopping and she was unpacking all the stuff and she had a carton of eggs and she was putting the eggs from the carton into the little shelf inside the refrigerator. And I said, now those eggs, mom, came from chickens? Yeah, they, they did. The, the eggs in that carton, chickens laid those. That they did. I said, Mom, how did they get those chickens to sit that close together? <laughs> it's important to know the laws of success in life and in business because they're really the same. Now, you wouldn't think so, but they are. The most important law of success is to know who you are. Leo Tolstoy said, without knowing who I am and why I'm here, life is impossible. W.C. Fields in one of his episodes walks in a bank and he walks up to the teller and he wants to cash a check. She says, uh, well, can you identify yourself? He said, oh, I think so. He said, do you have a mirror? She picked up her purse. She opened that thing up, fumbled around in there and pulled out a little makeup mirror and handed it to him. He popped that thing open, looks at, yep, that's me. <laughs> now it was meant to be funny, but the truth is that a lot of people mistakenly think that the image they see is who they are. It's not only important to know who you are, although that's the place to begin because every successful leader needs to know who he or she is. But it's equally important to know why you're here. In the East, they call this the law of Dharma, or the law of purpose. It simply means there's a reason for your appearance. Two important dates in your life, the day you're born, and the day you figure out why. The art of leadership and the laws of success are two necessary foundational pillars upon which to build a productive and a successful business. But what happens when a business loses focus? Or a business owner forgets what gave birth to the business and why it's here? Or what happens when an executive no longer remembers who he or she is? Or gets so wrapped up in the pursuit of their dreams that they neglect the nurture and care of their own soul, lose perspective, or overlook the needs of those they love most? How many of you have ever had a problem person in your life? Raise your hand. <laughs> How many of you currently have a problem person in your life? How many of you are sitting beside that person? <laughs> Just kidding. Don't raise your hand on that one. You see, you only ever do unto others what you've done already to yourself. You only do unto yourself what you do unto others. The third and fourth pillars of wisdom are these. The life you live, that is the way you go about taking care of yourself, your emotional and spiritual health, and the legacy you leave. I don't know how many times I've heard John Maxwell, who's one of my leadership mentors and probably the most widely known leadership uh, guru in the world, say, the life you're living today determines the legacy you'll know tomorrow. Now in the East, this is known as the law of karma. In the West, we call it the law of sowing and reaping. As I speak across the country, coach and train leaders in both the secular and sacred context, 
There are a few things I enjoy more than making people laugh, making people think. But in the end, I want to help people see that the decisions they're making today determine the success they'll experience tomorrow. That the life you live is truly the legacy you leave. The experiences of life you're going through now will not completely disappear until you learn the lesson they're sent to teach you.